It's a Godwinson live news alert. Esoteric message in the two flames that we saw there. What might it mean? What might the joining of those two flames mean? All will become clear at the end of today's show. Now, we've got a lot to get through, and I want to say that it all kind of stems from grossly being failed asked. It was all a, a fiction, a lie, I guess. But it all stems from that, and there's a whole cavalcade of characters that I wish to befall upon to you today. So, before we begin, this one, folks, there will be blood. This one, folks, old alliances will be betrayed. This one, folks, who will make it out alive is what I want to ask. Who will survive? This mortal combat. Okay. So. Bit of groundwork, chaps. Bit of foundation. Before we get into the nub of things. Timeline for retards that can't look at this shit and work out a chronological timeline of events. Roxo. Is doxed. I guess he's some black man called Basil who lives in Canada. You know who else is doxed in turn? Grossly's doxed. Except it's not grossly. It's Grossly's father in law or some shit. Then in turn, Brian, the King of Pop, is sent CP live on air. Are you with me? Are you with me? three events that have occurred. I'm going to tell you how this event goes to this event, goes to this event, and open your eyes to what's going on in the sector. We're bringing back the term gay up. We're bringing it back so Shannon Gaines, rest your merry soul, sir. Because I'm going to show you exactly how it all works. I'm going to open the lid, Shannon, and you can actually figure out what one really, really is. Because, Shannon, it's all real. Everything you've been saying is true. Apart from the elf girls not being pedo shit. So, to dive into this, we're going to start with the most recent event. And that is Brian being sent CP on stream. I'm going to show you it. I'm going to show you the Coach 4K drone footage. And then I'm going to get the person who apparently sent Brian that CP on this call. And then you will decide the reality of things in this, the Sector's courtroom. Sorry, I forgot the title. Uh, uh, so just under five minutes in, it's the Sector courtroom. I'm your judge. In fact, only, only God can judge the people involved in this. Um, I'm going to keep some surprises, but yeah. So we got the Brian segment first, and then we'll sort of roll out from there, and I'll present the conspiracy theory that's going around at the moment. So, where are we? It's the... this one? That one? This one. Okay. So I'm going to play this for you, Speds and Spurks. And you decide what's going on here. This one's for you. People's doxes. It's real simple. There's a dot play gang in the chat making accounts. To Explain it. So the chat. You're wondering why there's random retards from play gang in the chat making accounts to post people's doxes. It's real simple. There's a dox war happening. Godwinson did a stream on it. Half, some people are doxing each other, everyone's fucking swatting everyone, and it's fully fucking gay. And everyone involved is a faggot. Everyone involved is a faggot, because you can't, you can't sit down and just fucking chill and have a good time. You have to be doxing and swatting the world, because swatters got doxed, and they're very angry they, they got doxed, and so they're swatting the world. And there we go, <laughs> it's not a dox war! Alright. 
So this is Brian live last night on his show talking about Review Tech USA. And all he wants to do is just a quiet show on Review so Tech USA, but for the streamer, alas, new game that everyone's gonna want to events see. are about to transpire it's where Brian has sent CP live on stream. For the streamer. Well, there was uh, a little... If you are anti... All right, we'll talk about it. Uh, here, actually, I'll set my standard, what I think. All right. Doxing a swatter. So... Okay. You want to know what I think about doxing a swatter? I'll pull it up. So, trigger warning, um, you're about to see another person's dox. So, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. This is going to be wall-to-wall -wall people's doxes. So if you, trigger warning, if you've really got a problem with, if you ride off now, but, you know, this is wall-to-wall -wall docs. You know, everyone. And you know what? I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for that party, I'm afraid. Um, but for those of the faint heart, fuck off. Any of this. This, this is what I think about doxing swatters, okay? Hold on. This is what this All is right. what I think. Oh, I can't get it to go over. So Brian, this is, this is this um, okay. Roxo guy called Bass. I think doxing swatters kind of looks like Gus Spring from Breaking Bad. I think swatting people is really fucking gay. I think swatting people because you're mad on the internet that they don't want to be your friends and shit is turbo gay. And if you get doxed for swatting people then you probably deserve it. Just let's not break Los the law and try to get people Hector. killed or their family shot or by cops Don Eladio. because somebody called you a faggot on the internet. That's what I think. I think Basil should calm the fuck down with his friends. Now, here's the... Here's, here, uh, look, and, and this is a good test of the jury's integrity. How the fuck do you say Basil? I mean, I've always said it Basil, but apparently it's Basil as well. And I've heard Basil also. So I'm going to give the two sensible options. It's one for Basil, two for Basil. And it's for you to decide, jury of the sector's courtroom, on how to say Dr. Roxo's docs. It's split. There's a mix of ones and twos. But surely the Basil? Ba Does he call himself Basil or is it just Basil? Someone says Basil is the name of a Byzantine emperor. You know what? Now I'm seeing more ones. So it's Basil. But someone's... Yeah, Basil, br Basil Brush. Basil Brush, isn't it? Uh, but, you know. I think Basil... To calm the fuck down with his friends and go play a fucking video game. You're doxxed. I'm doxxed. We're all doxxed. If you swat people and you get doxxed, bro, I have no sympathy. I have no sympathy. Why should I have sympathy, chat, for swatters? <laughs> Why should I have sympathy for a guy who gets so pissed off on the internet that so they're this, calling me on the phone right like, now? Okay, so this is where we get to it. Brian, as he's cutting this promo on Basil Basil, uh, Gus Spring, um, is looking at his mobile phone. And on that mobile phone, he is being called, sent stuff from Weezus. Weezus? Again, it's a pronunciation game. Of Plate Game. Now, here is where we come to... Uh, I, I want the jury to watch this. Closely and watch the following footage closely without any comment, and then we'll present the arguments, okay? Guy who gets so pissed off on the internet that they're calling me on my phone right now, by the way. They're actually calling me on the phone. But why should I have sympathy for people who think it's funny to just swat people? Nobody. Nobody is. What's a swatter? It's a guy. Okay, Chuckles, I'll explain. It's somebody who, let's say, Chuckles, you're angry at someone online. Maybe they just called you a mean name. Maybe they called you a whore, right? And your reaction was to pick up the phone, spoof a phone number, or use a Google number, or whatever. Dial 911 with their, that person's information and go, 
I just killed, I just, I'm blah, 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 and I just shot my whole family, and I'm going to fucking go on a mass shooting spree. Click. Here's my address. Click. And then the whole fucking SWAT team shows up at your house with AR-15s, the whole nine yards. They come on out. They kick in your fucking door in because some faggot is mad at you because, or you're because you're mad because you got called a whore or something. It's fucking retarded. It sounds like a lot of work. It is. But it's the, it's the, oh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> they're texting me. They're texting his phone now. Uh, they're texting me pipe bombs right now. Pipe bombs. They're sending <laughs> they're him pipey the pipe, pipe bomb. bomb. Check. If you guys want to fuck with this guy. Right. That's the phone number. I can't, can you see it? No. I don't know if you can see the pipe bombs. They're texting me pipe bombs. This is what I'm saying. And then they you think that people are going to have sympathy for that? I'll read the number out. 701-353-4615. They're now sending me a shitload of tranny porn. And now, okay, bro. Well, you're getting blocked. They just sent me child porn. They just sent me child porn, chat. Like, legit, actual, you're fucked in the head. They just sent actual child pornography. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What do I say? That's plate gang, people. Child porn. Real child porn to a phone. You're gonna. I'm gonna report your number now, bro. Now I have to. Why do you gotta do that? Why? So now I gotta fucking call the cops. I gotta report the fucking phone number. Oh, okay. Oh no, don't do that. Now you're texting me saying don't do that. Why? Why send? Why? How is that cool, bro? This is what I'm talking about, chat. Swatting. So fuck swatters. Fuck people like this. They claim they're against pedophiles. Fuck Basil, a.k.a. Dr. Roxo. They think they're for pedophiles. They'll fucking blow your phone up, send child porn. They'll try to fucking do that. They'll swat the shit out of you. This is fucking ridiculous. And then you tell me I'm supposed to feel bad for swatters? I'm supposed to feel bad for this fat, sorry piece of shit? Why? Why? All right. And that's where I wish to pause Brian. As we just take a moment to go, why? So, you've all just seen there what that was last night on Brian's show. Now, I want to bring in the person that is accused of sending this stuff to Brian's mobile phone. So, I'll try and do that now, wherever you are. Um, Let's go. You're on the you're on the air, sir. Oh, hang on, bear with me. I've got to allow my mic. Okay, you're on the air, sir. All right. So Brian has accused me of sending him child porn, but I have the screenshots. Okay. Now I will put these screenshots up, but I just want to talk before we get into them. Talk about what's going on the context to all of this, and what prompted you to sort of text Bry live on air just in general? Well, I've had, I've had Brian's number for a while, so I was bored uh, one day, so I just sent him a text message saying, the Goombas are on the way, dot, 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 and then the picture of a Goomba and a pipe bomb. And then while he was streaming, I started calling him and uh, texting him, you know, if you can see there, you can see one of them. I said, shush, 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 shush. Right, so just quickly then, yeah, I'll, I'll put this on the screen now, but um, just lay out a bit of the context about what's going on, right? So the Basil guy's docs, Grossley's docs, just lay out a bit of the groundwork, please, and then we'll go into the screen caps. Trying to paint a camera. I wanted to screen. fuck with Brian. Right, so it's not, you just wanted to fuck with Brian. Is that, is that, is that, that's the modus operandi, yeah? Yeah. And he thinks that I'm, like, swatting him and going to his house and trying to give him pipe bombs. But, um, you know, like, I haven't really done much to him except call him. And he's answered the phone before, so if y'all want to call him, you know, hit him up. All right. So, I'm going to show these screen caps that you've sent through. Uh, mm -hmm. So, this corresponds to the exact timing that Bry was live. And you say... The Goombas are on their way, a Goomba, a Goomba, and a pipe bomb. Yeah? Now, these are not doctored screenshots, are they? No. And, then, and also, I've, they've been posted on Cow, so if you want to throw it through, like, um, 
I know there's like uh, websites you can do to just check if it's edited as well. All right, I'm going to go to the next screen cap, which is, again, confirming what you say. Sha, 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 sha. Grossly. Turbo Ducks, by the way. Um, what's his name again? Can you just say it for me? I've, I've kind of forgotten. Oh, that's... The one on the bottom is Mark Bagard, a.k.a. Yimli, a.k.a. Dr. Y.T. Bolger. Got it. And that's Dark Ninja. And then this one is uh, a Ryan Shoemaker, isn't it? Oh, the, the next one? Oh, the, ne the one he's claiming is child porn is him sucking a tranny cock. No. Ryan Dunn sucking uh, a tranny cock. Okay, so I, I, I was going to save that. So just quickly, I'm on the previous ones where you go sha 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 Grossly's Docs, and then Dark Ninja. Now, I'm going to have to be very selective on what I show here, so I'll just do this. Right. So, I'm going to put my thumb over the, over the tranny cock that Brian is, or a person that resembles Brian is slurping. And I'm going to do that and hope that works. So, just under there, you've got Dark Ninja. You've got you. You, you, you read it for me. So, you've got you, uh, what you are describing is based, right? When he's, uh, you, yo, what you're describing is base. Also ironic you call other people fags. Considering you did this. And then I said, no, don't dox my real number. Nigga, that's you sucking a tranny cop. Call that cops on air. My name is Michael Thurlow. Come fight me, faggot. Okay. 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 And you're going to say, that is not doctored in any way, shape, or form. Is that correct? Not doctored at all. Right. So... Okay, so Brian, either Brian is saying that he construes that tranny thing that we've all seen, by the way, it's been sent everywhere long prior to it being sent to Brian, um, is child porn, or it's adopted screenshot. Weezus. It's not, it's not doctored. I just sent that to him. He's just saying that just to like get attention. And also, I know you're going to go through the stream later, but you'll notice that he says, I filed a police report, even though he was only gone for like five minutes. It doesn't take that, it takes a lot longer than that to file a police report. Right. Now, I have heard that Brian is saying that this is a doctored screenshot and he actually was sent CP and that CP is apparently a child in a bathtub. Well, I mean, the burden of proof would be on him. You know, it's it's a it's a lose lose situation for him because he either says he lied, or he posts quote unquote, or he posts what he says is child porn, even though I never sent that. Right now, I did speak to a few of the guys you run with. I spoke to Zoom, I, you know, and I said, you know, can you vouch for Weezus? And he said, of course, of course, like he's not sent CP. It's just Brian going off. Um, and it's not consistent with anything you've done before, is it? No. Okay. So I am going to play the rest of Brian's stream. So just with this seed of doubt planted, I want the jury to decide whether or not you can file this police report in five minutes, speak directly to a detective or some shit. Um, and just before that happens, have the police in any way, shape or form contacted you? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, it would probably be a little easy for them to contact me, considering with text now, I have to use a VPN, so... Or I don't have to use... I can't use a VPN on it, right? Like, anybody who uses text now will know that. So, Brian, I'm not swatting you or anything. It can't be me, right? I didn't send you child porn, or else I would be under an investigation right now. An actual legal investigation, not a, a fucking uh, sector one. <laughs> I don't know, it's the same equivalence, really. So, let's persevere through the rest of Brian's stream. So, uh, and I'm going to leave you on, Weezus, and by all means, pipe up if you feel you need to pipe up, yeah? And we'll pause it accordingly. So, let's continue. <laughs> I don't even understand it, bro. I don't even understand it. I'll be back, chat. I gotta go call the cops. <laughs> I gotta go fucking... I gotta stop the stream. I'll be back, chat. We'll be right back. We'll be right fucking back. Unreal. Unfucking real, bro. 
Right, so I want you to take note of this timestamp. It's 41.43, and I'm going to time it. I'm going to time how long it takes to file the police report, okay? And now you're saying five minutes, is that right, Wizus? Yeah, basically five minutes. All right. It, was, it really wasn't that long. Okay. So um, we've just got Bron here running, bit of B-roll. He's back. He's back instantly. It's forty-one fifty. So I guess he didn't even try yet. Uh, we'll give him the we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I guess. Okay. So uh, new timestamp. He's talking muted. Oh, I guess he's talking at the he's talking the police to the police now. Is he? So for the lip readers in the audience, by all means, now's your time to shine. If the origami killer also has this talent, by all means, add that string to your bow, sir. Hold on. So is this this is him filing the police report now? Is it? Weezus, mute it. I don't. I don't believe so. But what is he doing then? Who is he talking uh, to? I did. Yeah, sorry. I said I'll be back. Oh, okay. He unmuted himself. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. He was just having audio issues. Yeah, sorry. I said I'll be back. I'm going to pull something up on the screen so you guys can watch something. Give me 15 minutes. 15 call minutes. Call the police and fucking file another police report because it's so fucking stupid that, I, that these people are going to swat each other, dox each other on cow, Doxing each other all over the place. I have nothing to do with it. I'm live on air covering a fake. Now, just on that one, Weezus, does Brian have nothing to do with it? Is this an innocent party that's wrong? Brian? Yeah. Um, I just like fucking with Brian. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. That's all we need, really. Fat retard arguing about trannies in schools and bullshit. And they want to come in the chat, and then they want to call my phone, and then they want to text me child porn. Great. Good stuff. Real fucking smart. Real fucking stupid. So fucking stupid. So fucking stupid, chat. And then they go, wah, wah, I thought you were against doxing. Wah, why would you do this? Let me find something to pull up that you guys... Just quickly, you know those are words that he's obviously put in your mouth there. Wow, wow, I thought you were against doxing. Why would you do this? You, sir, are you against doxing? Um, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to against or for doxing. It just happens, you know? It's like yeah. being for or against a gun. It's just a tool. Uh, based? That's actually based. What? My I point as well. I don't pull up right now. We're going to pull up. I don't want to pull it up yet because I'm over this. Oh, yeah. Also, Zoom sent you what he was doing while he was muted. He was spamming docs in a, a server he was in with us. Okay. Like I'll, 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 I'll go into that in a second. This then. is Brilliant. 45 minutes. I'll be back in 15. All right. He'll be back in 15. And the timestamp is 4328. Watch some DSP. Yeah, He's going to file the police report. Okay. So, I'll, get, I'll do it from the moment he takes off the thing. So it's 4331. Be right back. All right. If anybody asks. God, this is the slowest run to the phone ever. So it's 4333. I really want to be uh, give as much as much benefit of the doubt to Bri as possible. In the chat. I'm going to file a fucking police report. All right. It's 4336, and he's making his way to the phone. Unreal. Be back, boys. Right, so it's 4339. He's making his way to the phone now. Any minute now. Any moment now. Right, so he's just disappeared. It's 4346. Okay, and we've got some DSP cancer. And what we're going to do is we're just going to jump ahead to when he returns. And I'm looking here just for whenever Brian returns. All right, pretty long clip. Okay, so he's back at, he's back at four, six, five, one. So how long is that? Weezus. Uh, what time did he leave? Four. 
I guess he left like one second. I'll just do it again. So that's the start of the clip. So at 4 3 3 9, and then he returns at 5 6 5 1. 13 minutes, right? Now it's thir just quickly. Is 13 minutes the average time it would take to file a police report? Get through to the detective I, in charge, file I that don't police report. So. Also, I'm pretty sure they would most likely have him go in person to do it rather than over the phone. Yes. You know. Or else, how would they verify what's, what, what's going on, right, I guess? Exactly. Okay. Okay. So, now let's see what Brian says after he's filed this report. Okay. Okay. Man, that just, like... What the fuck, man? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm still fucking, I'm still shocked. You know, I'm still, like, sitting here, like, did that actually just happen? Live on air? Like, are they, are, are you guys, like, that ass-blasted about fucking the, the, the shit with you guys in Chinatown? That you're just gonna, you're just gonna fucking do all this crazy shit? <laughs> I'm still, how can you, how, how, how? Play gang, how can you call, how can you go after people that are pedophiles? What I will show? say, and I don't know if it's different where you are, Weezus, but uh, I know in this country, if you were to file a police report or any such thing, you'd be given a crime number of which to refer to. Now, is that the same in your country? Yeah, I believe so. I think you'd be given a case number. I've never filed one myself, but I would assume it'd be similar. Now, I mean, there's an easy way of figuring out whether Brian has called the cops in and got that filed that police report because there'd be a number that he could provide is that correct yes he could also release it okay brilliant live on air ow just you can't even justify it why do you even have it why do you even have it i mean are we fucking are we for real i don't know which one it was i can't tell you which one it was. it's a fucking spoof google number I'm not, no, I'm not taking a call. I'm, I'm like, I want to get through my segment. Zoom one? I don't know. I mean, I don't think Zoom one, if he fucking, if he's a fucking, you know, if he's doing this shit, bro. I don't, I don't know about that, but okay. Now, did Zoom order you to do this? No, I did it on my own. But you're very concise with the answers, but it's all I need. That's great. Thank, thank you. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who, which one it was. It was one of them. I don't know. You know, I. It's just fucked, man. I mean, what? It, why? D just answer, Brian. Why? Why'd you do it, Weezus? Because it's funny to fuck with him. He spurs out so why? hard every time. It's so funny. And he likes it too. He loves the attention. I, I'm out of words, man. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute, and just kind of. I'm gay because I don't want child porn. Text to me, bro. That's that's Play Gang's hot take. Play Gang's hot take. It, while they're pretending to be Queen of Bants in the chat, is I'm gay because I don't I don't want to be involved in your swatting child pornography spamming bullshit. I'm gay for that. Okay, okay, bro. I mean, uh, but this is what you expect. This is what happens when you guys get in bed with these fucking people. <laughs> I mean, really, really. This is exactly why I started streaming again. I said, you know, all this fucking gay shit. Nobody knows how to calm down and just joke on the internet. You gotta take it to IRL. You gotta do fucked up shit. Why? Right. I mean... And that's where I wish to end that. Um, so, Weezus, just give us a right of reply before I allow the jury of the sector courtroom to decide whether or not Brian's BSing or you sent CP. Just give us a uh, something. Well, Brian Dunn is a known liar, and he does spurg out a lot. Based, okay. 
Okay. Right. Great. So no liar, Spurgs. Fuck. Right. Also, so the Dark Ninja has a message for you. He wants to know if he can do a second Kino drill against the Chomo Town gangers. Yeah. Of course. We'll line that up. We'll All line right. up. Not today's show, but we'll do that probably next yeah. show, I guess. Yeah. Kino drill. I'm ready. So. Thank you, Weezus. I'll let the sector now decide your fate. All right. And to do so, I did have this lined up. Where are we? So, it's for you to decide, jury. You've heard all the evidence presented before you. The cross-examination has taken place. One, Bry was sent CP. Two, Weezus is an innocent man. And it's all BS. This is how we decide this sort of thing, when it literally is one word against another. And, you know, We've had some sort of proof presented to us, those screen caps that we all see. But we've not yet had anything as substantial as that from Bry, like a crime number, or even a description of, of what he's seen. Apart from a, a child in a bathtub, that's what I've heard it was. From Bry. Sorry. So you decide! Now, I'm not gonna lie, and I might need an independent adjudicator to look at this for me. But it seems to me that we've got a lot of twos. A hell of a lot of twos. So in these sorts of situations, I wish to consider the verdict. I wish to have the foreman of the jury present the verdict of Weezus being not guilty. Now I'll present the foreman of the jury who'll deliver the verdict now. Now? To the foreman of the jury. Bear with me, sir. All right, foreman of the jury, present the verdict then, sir. I would say the verdict is not guilty. Not guilty. And do you wish to explain the reasoning on that, sir? Oh, yes, because, uh, well, Brian Dunn is uh, the son of a pedophile and a liar. Uh, I, I find it very funny that Brian says he's out of this, that he's not involved in doxing or swatting and that he he thinks it's gay but uh about two and a half days ago brian joins this server called magicians that we were all in magicians just quickly now I, uh, is this what you're sending through here uh as your yes. evidence i'll present the evidence then yep. so is it from this top screen cap zoom yes so it's this brian is the magi magician this is the magician's order. discord just yes, explain what that is yeah, which uh, is this? Magicians is this server that Grossly used to hang out in right. with uh, Shamu, and Brian used to be in the server, and he said, "Oh, you know, we'll never let this server become a place where Plate gets to hang out." But uh, I started hanging out there, and, and then they made me an admin, and they demodded Grossly and Shamu, and Grossly had like a mental breakdown, and he started threatening the admins in the channel uh, with their docs and stuff like that, uh, and then they went quiet for about two weeks and then all of a sudden brian rejoins the server right uh with grossly and all of a sudden they start spamming tagging roxo yeah and they say oh hey uh basil we found who you are yeah we found some picture that we think is you and some profile that we think is you and and brian's there and he's going 
I found your grandmother, and I called your grandmother, and I know where you live now, Basil, and I'm going to harass you every single day, and I'm, I'm going to call this elderly woman every single day and harass her until she gives me her grandson's phone number. Meanwhile, so when he, just quickly, Roxo Sue, I'm on the Smash or Pass chat one. Is that his grandmother? Is that Roxo's grandmother that he's saying Smash or Pass on? Uh, that was supposedly Roxo's girlfriend. They okay. just doxed this random guy and they said it was Roxo. Right. Okay. No worries. I'm just going to, just as you keep talking, I'll just present these screen caps that I haven't really looked at, to be honest. So he continues to like spurg out for hours, spamming the chat with pictures of this person's house, pictures of an elderly woman, pictures of her Facebook, pictures of this guy and his family and his mother and his girlfriend. And he's going, I know this is you, Roxo, and you're going to get it. And I'm calling the Toronto PD, and I'm the, the PD is going to be there for you. And Roxo is just at work for hours. So finally, Roxo gets out of work like six hours later, and Brian gets him on a call, and he adds me to the call. And what's really funny is, is Brian adds in Snick, who they Snick! all claimed they weren't hanging out with anymore. Yeah. Because when Snick was doxxed, we found that he had – been following Shadman and a bunch of Lolly That's uh, right. artists, and that he was posting Lolly on his Facebook. Yeah, uh, and that was who Brian brought in to defend him, and we just bullied him out of the chat. And I sat in the chat and I just listened to Brian, and I listened to Brian screaming like a little teapot. You know, hey, what's going on, Rapso? Now I know where you live, buddy, and I'm gonna call your grandmother every day, pal. And he just keeps insisting he's gonna harass this elderly woman every single day that he's going to call her every morning every lunchtime every evening until she finally gives him who he thinks is roxo's grandmother until she turns over roxo's phone number um and then apparently like him and grossly were like playing to harass other people they were going to call cps on on this girl rocket's family and like claiming she was abusing her children and brian was saying that all of this shit was funny and that it was totally okay and based. And he thought it was super funny. And he was in there with Dark Ninja and they all thought that it was super funny. Well, I don't know who got involved, but they pissed off the wrong person. And all of a sudden, the next day, Brian is in a VC crying, saying that he's been swatted. Uh, and then Dark Ninja claims he was swatted, that his family was swatted, and that CPS came to his wife's work and he's been accused of molesting his daughter. And all of a sudden, the people that were very brave and, and confident and cocky and, and laughing about harassing some old elderly woman, all of a sudden, they're bewildered and scared. And, oh, no, that's just that's just so fucked up and, and mean. And all of a sudden, it was, oh, that's not cool. It's not based anymore. It's gone too far. And then Brian saying, oh, I have a family how could you just harass my family like this? I'll, I'll tell you what, Rock. So I'm calling to the PD tomorrow. I'm giving them your info. You're going to be in jail in like a day. And then he does this stream where he continues to post pictures of them and say he's going to, he's going to have them arrested by the Toronto Police Department, which he's so like retarded. He said he was calling the York Police Department. Then he said he spoke to a detective in the York Police Department. And the thing is, is Canada doesn't have detectives. They Canada have doesn't have detectives? No, they have constables. So he'd have spoken to a constable so like, in the York PD he, department. Is he that would have it? talked to a constable if he actually called somebody. And it's like, Brian, you're a poor lineman. How are you calling Canada? Like, you can't afford international calling. You're just full of shit. And when you ask Brian, like, Brian, can you tell me what, an inc what incident number you got for this? Who are you talking to? He's just like, I talk to somebody and you're going to feel the wrath, buddy. I mean, this is the same shit that he did with Weezus, the guy that you just had on. Yes. He, not even about, I want to say six, seven months ago, he, he, he tried this shit again where like they pop up out of nowhere and they're like, oh, we're going to dox all your friends. And they started fucking with, uh, with our friend Rocket. They started calling CPS to her house and harassing her. And then all of a sudden... A bunch of them sudden, suddenly got swatted in response to that. And Brian was saying, oh, this is this is not fair. This is not cool. How could you guys take it this far? And it's like, 
dude, you're, you're calling CPS to people's homes and telling them that they're abusing their children because you're mad that they called you gay on the internet. And it's like, that's not cool. But it's totally fine for something in response to be done to him. It's like they're, they're like a kid in the playground that like pushes you off the slide, but when you deck them in the fucking mouth, all of a sudden it's, you're the bad guy, you're a bully. And that's all Brian and, and Shamu and Grossly are like. Grossly and Shamu thought that it was totally cool for months to bully this like mentally retarded guy, Elandrian, into eating his own feces until he literally died of, of toxicity poisoning. And they thought that was hilarious. But, you know, posting a picture of Grossly's, you know, dirty tennis ball head is too far. It's mean. Well, Grossly's the next segment soon, but thank you for delivering the verdict on that one. So it was two, and people have been said bad. that Weezus is not guilty of this, uh, and Brian's full of BS. Um, <clears throat> so, thanks oh, for yes. that one. We're going right into the Grossly segment now. Let's... What did I have? This one. So... Grossly offensive is doxed, but it's not his dox. It's his father-in-law's dox, and his. <laughs> he says it's a failed dox when he's actually doxed. You know that bald guy we pointed at the other night. It was grossly, but he, he said it was a failed dox, I guess, and is still doing so. He's been AWOL for forty-eight hours and counting. AWOL, without leave. Now, we are going to cover just the shockness of Grossly the other night. I don't think he was expecting deliverance, a comeuppance, consequences to his faggot actions. Alas, Zoom just laid out there some of the crimes that he's partaken in. Forcing a man to eat his own feces and then watching him die before him. But I wish to lay out one more crime afterwards. And that's the crime of adultery. We're going to go into exactly what makes an adulterer. Okay. Yeah! All right, so I have this. So this is literally just after, straight after last night, no whatever it was, Wednesday's show, where we lay out the Indian head massages and the Ferengi mass, all of this crazy shit. The origami killer strut and docks grossly. And this is grossly saying straight after with shaky in his voice, tumbled in his voice. I think he's shook. I think Gobinson's shook. But we'll do this. We'll go for a little bit. We'll do. We'll take a call. Stuttering take a like call. a bitch. Anyone wants to come up and ask me, and then we'll see. But yes, Basil, Basil. That's why I was fail boxed because uh, Doctor Roxo, who is unfortunately probably going to get pretty fucked over from uh, the fragrant swattings that he's done. Just want to pick him up on something there. I'm going to go full grammar Nazi and say. Fragrant docks. It's flagrant, pleb. Flagrant, fool. Flagrant, not, not this. Unfortunately, probably going to get pretty fucked over from uh, the fragrant things that he's done and admitted to his streams. So almost like people were baiting him onto the King of Paul's stream to admit this stuff. That'd be rough, wouldn't it? That'd be rough if you were baited into admitting a stream. It's tough. It's tough. Now, I was never really going to speak about this openly. I've been single for like a year. So what I do with Egan... He's been single for like a year. Okay. Want to uh, keep that one in mind, folks. He's been single for like a year. This is our next case, by the way. Our next case in today's proceedings. Single for like a year. For consideration. 
Now, I was never really going to speak about this openly. I've been single for like a year. So what I do with e-girls on the internet is really my business. Adulterer. It's my business. And uh, I don't feel any regret for talking to e-girls on the internet as a single man. As a single man, he feels no regret for talking to e-girls on the internet. Just uh, take notes, jury. You know, you'll have access to the evidence during your considerations, but just take notes along the way. Because you might forget something during deliberations. I feel nothing. Weirdly enough. Weirdly enough. I feel nothing, he says. I feel nothing. Weirdly enough. Do you think he's Weirdly convinced enough. by that? When he's whimpering like a bitch, going, I feel nothing. Do you think he's convinced by it? Listen to him. It's my business. And uh, I don't feel any regret for talking to e-girls on the internet as a single man. I feel nothing. I feel Weirdly nothing. Weirdly Weirdly I, I feel nothing. Just that pregnant pause as he wipes away the tears. It's truly fragrant, that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, Rooks of Docks is out there, lives with his grandparents. It's real tough. It's real tough. Real tough, child. So, Roxo's Docks is out there, lives with his grandparents. Real tough. Just keep that one in mind. Lives with his grandparents. Just keep that one line nestled away. Take notes. I love shit like this. I love shit like this. You would not believe the state of ecstasy I'm in right at this moment in time. Put that in one more time. If no one calls in, I'm going to go to bed because it's half past 11. So he's I waiting for his Coke box, for his hug box to join his VC. Invalidate him on, uh, uh, I guess, a fine showing on surviving the Goldenson beatdown that left him a bloody bruised mess. Good morning. Yeah. Bo -bo 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 All right, so his mate's joined. Now, what's his mate going to say? Is his mate going to be there to support him and go, you're a king, you were failed doxxed, and any coping and seething about... Anyone else being shot, you know, that's entirely a correct assessment of events, Cressley. What's his mate going to say? Hello. Hey, yo, what's up? How's it going? Uh, how is it going, man? Gross. Yeah, I'm good. You're good? Okay. Yeah, are you sure you're good? Hmm. Of course. Why of course. Wouldn't Why wouldn't I be? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh... Like, it seems like you're going on the stream with this long-ass fucking cope. Body. That's not a cope, it's just the truth. I've kept it to myself for quite a while. I was never going to bring it up, actually, but it's tough. So, so why are you bringing it up now? Are you mad or something? I wouldn't have been mad if he'd answered my call. So More you're petty. mad? You're mad petty. Petty. Just, petty. just stop, stop. He's already dead. He's already dead. He's literally whimpering in response to basic questioning. I'd have to answer my call. So you're mad? You're mad? Petty, 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 petty would be the way. Yeah, yeah, petty. I'm very petty. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what's, your, what's the next step of your master plan? Yeah, what's the next step, Grossly? I'd uh, just continue what I was already doing. Stream, couple streams here and there, one hour free time, and that's about it. <sighs> okay. I have a half finished uh, long video that I'm doing. Should put that out in a in a little while. What's your next video going to be about? Uh, it's about a tranny. It's about a tranny. It's not going to be about how you're mad. No, no. Do I sound mad? Yes. He's undefeated, actually. How long is this oh, stream for so long? Ten minutes. Only ten minutes. It's only been a ten-minute rant about how this motherfucker slighted you by not answering your message fast enough. Yes, I told you I'm petty. Okay. All right, well, I'm it? out of beer. I need to go get another beer, so you can remove me if you want to. Fucking. Fine. Thanks.
Thanks for your call. Thanks for your call. That is fucking tough. That is tough. Genuinely awful. Now, within this show, he talks about how he's failed doxed. He talks about, you know, he's a man in his early 30s and he's actually not been with his wife for a, what, a year now. He's not even married to her. It's, it's all just like, it's all bullshit and lies. But the truth is something far different, isn't it, Grossly? The reality of things, Ryan, is far, far different. Where did I have it? Where is it? The reality of things is far different. Because Ryan, Shoemaker, imagine your name literally, imagine your surname literally being a service to another person. Shoemaker. Toilet flusher. Like, can you imagine being on that level of peasantry? It's like if Cog was called, like, Chimney Sweep as his last name. Johnny Chimney Sweep. <laughs> Ryan Shoemaker. Good Lord. That's the level we're at. And it turns out that Ryan Shoemaker actually isn't separated or divorced from his wife. He's not single at all. Because I can read right now all of the Facebook leaks that have happened showing Ryan to be in a relationship still, a marriage still with his wife. His wife not even knowing about his antics online and being sent these antics by, I guess, well-meaning people that want to put an end to adultery. Because they've said no to adulterers. They've had enough of the adultery. Grossly offensive. And you know what? This is a case that we don't even necessarily have to put to a jury. This is one where the judges just decided to fucking overrule normal court proceedings and fucking slam the gavel down and scream guilty. Guilty. And your foreman of the jury was still going to consider their verdict, I guess. But ultimately, you're guilty. Now, the foreman of the jury for grossly offensive trial. I'm going to get on just now. So get ready. Get ready for this one. I'll just play you in, foreman of the jury. For Grossly's trial. Get rid of Brian's stuff. Um, I'd have a song lined up for you, which I thought was fitting, but where is it? Okay, so. It's the foreman of the jury on Grossly's trial. The guilty verdict will be explained in full, ready for sentencing. This actually isn't the song, but fuck it, this'll do. It will be considered in full, Ryan, of Stoke-on-Trent. And it turns out, right, that whilst he mocked this Roxo character for living with his grandparents, turns out that this Ryan guy is still bizarrely living in his, like, father-in-law's house. How's that work? If you're single, if you're no longer with your wife. How's that work that you're living with your wife's parents? What's going on there, Ryan? Now, maybe you can be redeemed by making me a really nice pair of shoes. Like the shoe-shining little bitch that you are, really, in the totem pole of life. The hierarchy has been restored and you're reduced back to your level of shoe and shoemaker. Shine and bitch. But we're going to bring in the new foreman of the jury for this one. So, where are you? Okay. Oh. So 
All right, one moment, one moment, one moment. Hello, Chuckles. Hello. All right, Chuckles, just explain who you are and your involvement and entanglement with Grossly Offensive. Ryan Shoemaker, married man. Yes, Your Honor. Um, he, it's a liar. I, I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, he just, uh, very manipulative, lies a lot, tells girls that he loves them on the internet, and then wonders why they're psycho after. Uh, you know, it's... Did you know he was married? Uh, he told me separated. He told you he was but, separated, but you've seen all of the Facebook yeah, he stuff that's that leaked. He lives on it like acre, acre property, and he said that he lives in a different like dwelling. A de what? Or describe the about. dwelling that he described to you. That Sally told. I, I didn't realize that they were living in like a shed together. They're living in a shed, but he told you he was living in a mansion with her or something. No, he just told me that he lived on a very, very large, uh, like land. Um, and there was multiple units or something. Deary me. And so you were under... He and told you he, him and his wife were separated. For, how long have they been separated, did he say? Um, he didn't give me, like, a date, like, a time that... He so, was, so, so he could have said they'd videos, separated five see, minutes like, ago and you wouldn't have queried that. his wedding ring from the recent live stream, so clearly he's separated. He removed his wedding ring from the recent live stream. You can see so it, like, it. in his streams, like, to have it on. I don't know what happened. Probably because he's, like, a liar and he tries to cheat on her. Yeah. Okay, so, Chuckles, you, you were this person, one of, I guess, many, that grossly offensive was thirsting for online as his wife's inside, not knowing what's going on. Now, you have seen these Facebook screenshots of him still married to his wife. And his wife having no idea of this. Um, I have seen like the karaoke one. I mean, they 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 look like a happy couple from the outside for sure, and uh, I feel bad for her. And like, yeah, that whole thing is sucks. Brilliant. That's exactly what I needed before we go into. So you sent me all of the DMs that you've ever sent with grossly, I guess, and we're gonna go through them. Um, and I just want to just clarify. Uh, just want to uh, clarify, sorry. you've got, um, <clears throat> so this picture, I'll just do that, I guess. Hold so on, thi this picture, um, was this the only image that Grossly sent to you of himself? Uh, one second, I'm pulling up the YouTube on my phone. Um, that, no, he sent me a, a few, that's the only one that I had, though. Right. And so, one second. That image is correspondent to this image, isn't it? Yeah, I think he's... He looks similar, but different. I mean, people age differently, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so there he is there. And, and so you... He looks very younger on the, on the other, where he's not, like, fully bald for some reason. Yeah. I, I guess the sect has aged him. Um, so, <clears throat> what drew you to Grossly? Was it his looks or personality? You know, initially I had blocked him. Kept coming in my live chats on my YouTube. I am going to show I, some of these things, um, so just bear with me, because you did send that through, and I just want to show that. So, this is him blocked, isn't it? Uh, one moment. Well, this is him blocked on his Discord, and then he kept yeah. harassing Chuckles, you, let me harass you on Discord. Stop being difficult. I was ironically rude. Um, and, you know, he's like, unban me from your dis server. So, it's a, it's a long begging courtship. Is begging you on bended knee. So, I unblocked him because uh, I thought it was very different that somebody would ask to be unblocked. And then, and so then, how do you uh, get, what I want to realise is, how do you get from there to him literally begging you to stop breaking his heart? How do you get from that to this, where we're at now? Uh, I'm um, a dangerous woman, the homewrecker of the sector. Talk us through the relationship, whatever it was. 
At what point uh, does it go from, oh, you're Chuckles, to uh, you're the second woman I've ever fell in love with on a mid-30s man? Talk us through that. I'm loving this part. I'm, um, I'm, a, I'm a mastermind of uh, wit and uh, charm. Yeah. I mean, we just talked a lot, and then, uh, yeah. I guess he fell in love with me. And was that a mix of VC or was it all text stuff? It was uh, phone like stuff too. And at what time of the day, his time, would you guess he was calling you? Um, well, he said that he was, like, he had two different, like, shift schedules or something. Like, one of them was in the middle of the night and one of them was, like, in the morning. Uh, but we're eight hours apart, so, like... So one uh, of them was in the morning, one know. of them was eight hours apart. Two different shift schedules, right. And so he yeah, called you he his... Worked, like, either really late at night or really early in the morning. And so he'd call you in the afternoon then, his time. He would call me all the time, yeah. Right. And there was never any moment where he was just suddenly unavailable, where you might have suspected his wife was being seen. There was, there, there were. Like, he told me um, one time, like, oh, my sister just broke up with her boyfriend. She's going to be here for, like, a while. His sister. And then he never brought it up again. Which I thought was super weird. Right, and did I don't you? I know if he has a sister. Did you think in your mind then that that could have been the wife? I did. Yeah. Did you ask him about that? Did you say was that your wife and not your sister? I never heard her. He was very good at like doing that shit. Right. I don't, like, I, that's why I was trying to figure out, like, where, he, oh, he, t he would always tell me he doesn't have good Wi-Fi in his house, and that's why he had to stream from the garage. He doesn't have good Wi-Fi in the house, and that's why he has to stream from the garage. So he never let on that the reason why he has to stream from the garage is because he's living with his wife's yeah, parents. He, no, he was very, and then he would always say, like, oh, I would call in, but I don't have service right now. To, doesn't like, have service. Okay. These are common sort of phrases the adulterer will use in, in order to get what he wants. So... He's, not, he's just a liar. Yes. So... <clears throat> right. Um, bear with me. I'm just going through all these screen caps. So... He goes... I want you to stop making me look uncool in front of my friends. Geez, do you want to explain this one and what all the context of that one was? Now, this goes back to November, and I think the uh, the entanglement yeah, with Ryan that. ended in August, didn't it? Yeah. So uh, that was like when I. She would always tell me like certain things behind the scenes, such and, as in my DMs, such as like like like. The whole Chinatown shit. Like, there was this crazy girl named Cappy, and, like, he basically, like, coordinated this whole, like, chick fight for his own weird, like, entertainment. And then he tried to, like, tell me that, like, you know, he was preventing her from, like, doing all these really shitty things to me. Right. So, as well. he's saying, he's saying to you that he's stopping her from doing things to you. And it's turned out that he's actually been saying the reverse to her. So he's been playing the two of you off against each other in order to uh, to get on that. Yeah. Just for fun. Okay, great. I'm glad we're establishing this groundwork. Now he goes... Um, this is all on my Twitter too. I posted a lot. He of goes... That's there too. Can you trust me? Is that too much to ask? So did you ever trust him? There was always... Like, it was very hard for me to... Uh, trust him because like because he's married or consistencies like when somebody acts a certain way in a public context and then they act a different way like in private like that's weird do you not think he was acting that way publicly because his wife might be watching no i meant like in china it's like public servers and that so. okay okay right so this one you seem to talk a lot about Cappy in the DMs. 
and he talks about yeah, because she was harassing me for months dude and stalking me like just she went through like every single social media post i've ever posted and like screenshotting and doxing and like just blowing up every server that you know i'm in just to just to be annoying and she was right. following me around on the internet. There was brilliant day I did, like, that t- that, t- that t- t- titles me up to where world. i needed to be with this screen cap so grossly says I don't like doing bad things, this rich going from an adulterer. And I don't like telling people when I've done them. Just know I am protective and I make sure you are protected. So did you think he'd killed her when he said that? Did I think he killed her? No. Yeah. I mean, like, when he says, uh, I don't like telling people when I've done bad things, just know I'm protected and make sure you are, and I make sure you are protected very manipulative i don't tell you i sent a picture of her house what does that mean um it means that he told me that he somehow found her information and threatened her by sending her a picture of her own house hmm okay he's did you feel protected but, but, but this whole time this whole time he was like i don't block school because i was like why won't you just like because he would be like there was multiple messages where he'd be like, there, she sent me 78 messages or 54 messages. Like there was a lot of those like where he was, and I don't know if that he meant to be manipulative about that. Like, look at this girl who really wants me. I'm like, great, go to her. Like, I don't care. Uh, Cause I never blew up his phone like that. And uh, like he could never block her though, because he didn't block people. Well, he blocked me real quick. Okay. Well, I, just remember, I, I, Chuckles, that he is your number one troll simp. When you receive yeah, stuff like that, what is, a, what is a troll simp? And was that the relationship that you had? Did he troll you and then simp you at the same time and stuff like this? What What is that? I, you know, I have to ask for clarification from him because I don't know. Now, I'm not a woman, but... A lot of these DMs, reading through them with an objective male gaze, I guess. I cringe like a motherfucker. Were you cringing on the other end when you were receiving stuff like, I'm your number one troll simp, remember? Yeah. I told him, like, it sounded like a telemarketer call, like, for... <laughs> but did you not think, like, this is cringe as fuck? Yeah, it was the whole thing was cringe, and then it was even more cringe that he couldn't even like own it. Like he had to like just run like a little bitch. <clears throat> the fact that it's a guy in his mid thirties as well. So, um, right. How old is he? Like I don't even know how old he is. He's thirty-five. Thirty-five? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. So this this yeah, one doesn't make any sense, her. really. But is this about the cappy as well? You know, she didn't even watch it. She's angry yeah, and put her face on the couch. About because this is crazy. Yeah, and I made a video about her, a little cow video, because I was like, maybe this will get her to shut the fuck up. Right. Now, this one, it sort of ties into the previous segment. Um, and you feel as free as you want to to discuss the character involved in this and explain this. I think this is quite pregnant, this one, Chuckles. So, here he goes, no, retard Brian wanted to fuck you and he had a jealous meltdown. Just explain the context of this screen cap. Okay, so the day that I found him, I caught him lying was, it was my birthday the day before and he told me he was sick, he was deathly ill with COVID, he was in the hospital, he couldn't speak. He said he was in the hospital and he couldn't, he said he was he in the hospital. He was in the hospital. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, I was like, okay, like, I, I didn't fucking blow up his phone or anything. I'm like, cool. Um, but, like, the next day, uh, I texted him in the morning or something, and it was like, I, I went to go do some shit, and it was like seven hours later, and I get a call from Bastic Brian, and Brian's like... Now, just quickly, can you like, clarify that the Brian in question is our Brian? Correct. Yeah, okay. you're Brian, the Brian who uh, told me I was beautiful. He's also married, which was fucking weird. Now, wait a minute. He tells everyone he's married. Where it's just what? No. He told you you were beautiful. 
Yeah, I, I posted that on Twitter as well because he just wants to lie about everything. He said that he never even called me and had this conversation with me. Wow. We're going to unpack this. I just want to go into this one just directly and then we'll... So that was, that was a shot. That was a left field. I didn't expect that one to come into uh, the conversation. So... Grossy saying, no retard Brian wanted to fuck you and had a jealous meltdown. So, let's just clarify. Did Bri of the Brian Zone want to fuck you? I mean, who does it? Just kidding. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Like, he, he claims to be happily married. It's weird that he's calling me beautiful in my DMs. That was uncomfortable. Like, right. but I am home wrecker of the sector. So I do have a title to fulfill. And so did Brian have a jealous meltdown because of that? I don't know if it was a jealous meltdown. It was a meltdown because that's all he does is have meltdowns. Was Brian the second man in, the, in this relationship, Chuckles? Was no, grossly no, jealous no. of Brian? No, no, I would, no. Not at all. I thought it was. I remember sending grossly like text messages like, "Hey, this is your friend. Like, this is fucking weird. Like, he's married. Why is he sending me this shit?" And what would grossly say in response to that? Uh, kind of like change the subject. Okay. He's like, "Well, bro, like, oh, he told me that Brian was one of his really good friends too." Right. And then later on, he was like, "He's a crazy person." Okay. All right. Okay. Um, okay. So. Now, here we go. This is where you say that grossly provides a list of his actual friends. The only people who are actually my friends. Now, bear in mind, all of these people don't live in even the same country as Ryan Shoemaker. But these are a list of his well, actual friends. He's an internet friend. I'm not, I don't think he has real life friends, but yeah. Tough. Tender man. Shamu! RZA. Brian, a.k.a. King of Pole. FBA. Yimli. I, I'm really lost at this point. Yimli. Slurpee. And you. And this is, this is to you, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... <laughs> Doxing is for group chats, not public service. That's something he said in a public server. Yeah. Right. Grossy says he was sick with COVID, deathly ill, and cannot speak. Yet the next day, Brian calls Chuckles in a panic, telling her that Grossly is speaking to a prostitute in a Chinatown VC. Now... Just explain this call because I've I've been told with a hand on a Bible that this call did not take place, Chuckles, and you're lying about Brian yeah, calling you in a frenzy here's panic. Here's the thing. It's like, how would I have even... Why would Grossly say he's a jealous person or whatever the fuck he said? He said that Brian was jealous of him because he was speaking to you. That, this, this is, the reason why he said that is because of this phone call that Brian made... Right. And what was that phone call then? Talk us through it. Okay. So I'm, you know, not at my house. Brian calls me. Fast dick as usual. I don't know how to tell you this. What, what, I don't know how to tell you this, Chuckles, but... Huh? Sorry, I was just doing my Brian. But go ahead. I don't know how to tell you this, uh, but... Yeah, like, just very, very dramatic. Very Brian. And uh, I was like, you could just tell me. And he was like... Well, Grossly is in Chinatown right now talking to a prostitute. And I was like, well, that's great because he told me he was in the hospital yesterday. Deadly so, ill and he couldn't speak at all. Just quickly, Chuckles, why is Brian telling you this? Uh, I don't, well, I wasn't in Chinatown at that time. I had removed myself because of the toxicity. Why the, the, what, what I'm trying right to get now. at, Chuckles, is just this. Why would Brian call you, of all people... To say that grossly offensive Ryan Shoemaker is talking to a prostitute on a VC. Did Brian know about yours and Grossly's e relationship? Uh, apparently, he assumed something. Right, but why would he, he call you? It was necessary to tell me. 
he okay so th- he calls me and he's like i would like to have an intervention with grossly and uh you know i'm driving and i was like well this is the last thing he said to me and it was like seven hours prior i took a screenshot sent it to him didn't even realize it had his kid's first name in it but i sent it to one person which was a really good friend right in a dm so he said he- to and- brian the screenshot had Grossly's okay. daughter's first name in it, which is completely unintentional. However, one, Grossly said that Brian was one of his only wait, actual wait, friends, wait. and Grossly so also here's said the thing. Here's is the the thing. Chat. Here's the thing. And so that screenshot was sent in a group text message. So the screenshot that I sent Brian right. was put in a group text message with, like, Yim Lee and Shamu. Right. And the way that he put, like, here, you know how you tag people who are, like, online and stuff? Um... Shamu took a screenshot of that of that screenshot and propped it so it looked like Brian posted it in a server. Right. Why and would Shamu do such a thing? He looked like I'm this person who's just going around giving information to people. Right. Okay. Okay. That catches us up for where I need to be. Um, so, at what point then do we get to grossly dangle doxing? your nudes and saying that he'll post your nudes everywhere. And I think he did post your nudes everywhere as well. Um, How do we get from there to, like, he literally does say, stop breaking my heart and all of this shit. But how how does he get to the point where he's threatening to Ralph you, I guess? Okay, so when when that whole thing with Brian, he goes like, Brian's a crazy person. He's just trying to fuck you. Why would you believe it? Like, he's, you know, just going crazy because he's caught lying. And he doesn't want to just, like, take a little bit of ownership for it. Like, he has to just lying. Um, And then he blocked me. And I was like, okay, great. Like, and I gave it, I was like, I thought he doesn't block anybody. That's why he couldn't block Cappy, right? Right. Um, So, like, I give him some time, cool off, whatever. It's been, like, five days. And I'm like, fuck this guy. Like, I would like my fucking closure, you know? So I uh, threatened to dox him or something. I don't even have any of this information to do this. It was clearly just to get a reaction from him, which I got. But, um, yeah, because I was fucking pissed. I was like, you know, after all of those things that you said to me, like, if you ever uh, don't like me anymore and you wake up one day, please just tell me or something gay like that. Um, so when he, just quickly, when he tells you that he's only ever loved one woman and the other woman is you, what do you do? You cringe. Do you go? Oh, what's what's going on? He's only ever slept with one of one woman. You know what I mean? Like, what what is this shit? Do you never go like, what the fuck is this sad loser? Do you feel sorry or what, what do you feel, Chuckles? Yeah, I do feel sorry for him. That sucks. That's to suck, man. So, did you ever plan to meet up with him in in like actually consummate this relationship? It clearly took place for a long period of time. Yeah, he did say that he was coming to America next He next was coming year, to America, then, like, so you weren't going to go to yeah. him. You weren't going to go to uh, him. No, he, he said that he was going to come to America uh, on a within trip. the following year. And then later on, he said it probably won't happen for a couple. Right. So did you get, did you get your hopes up then? Or did, did the question in your mind go, well, why won't he have me over at his Um you know, where's the wife and shit like that? Did you not think, like, what's going on? Yeah, I did think it was, like, a little weird. Uh, but at the same time, like, I don't, I don't think that I would go out to see him. Like, that's a very long flight to go and meet somebody. Like, he didn't come here. But you were in love. Were you in love with him like he says he's in love with... Like, he's, he's in love with you in these DMs. He loves you. Were you I as in love with him as he lying. was in love like, with you? I don't think that either of us... Or in love. I mean, he says in the DMs that he's in love with you. I can read them aloud yeah, for the Yeah, but you audience. don't treat people like that. Like, you don't, you don't do that to people that you love. Like, let's be honest. So, do you think that he loved you? Or... Do you... Look, I'll fuck it. Um, I think that he used it as, like, some kind of manipulation tool, but I don't think that he can love anybody. He says, I've slept with one person. I've loved one person. Twelve years I was with her. I tell you something super personal and you tell me it sounds like a telemarketing call. 
You're my second yeah, girlfriend. It's not like it's you just, know it's you're the second yeah, woman I've saying. ever told I loved. Like, this guy is like the biggest cringe simp I've maybe, ever yeah, seen. This week, maybe. This week, yeah. Right. And I don't think, judging by the pictures, he's got much chances of ever telling a third woman that he loves her either. And it seems to me, right, it seems to me that this guy is super thirsty. And from the DMs, I'm getting, like, super thirst. Did you feel like this is kind of weird, or were you just willing to take what you could get at that point? No, I thought it was sure. Right. Okay, so Chuckles, just while you're here then, what do you want to end with? How do you want... Grossly's life has been ruined. Ryan Shoemaker has been revealed to be an adulterer. You are responsible, I guess, in part for him, like... Weeping and considering killing himself. Do you consider like that to be a point of pride, or do you uh, want to want him back? Will you take him um, back? Pride. You know, I it did it. I didn't want it to end like this, but you know, if you're gonna go cozy up with plate game to tr get plate game to try to save your own ass, rather than just taking a little bit of ownership and apologizing for you know the piece of shit that you are, like I do not have any remorse for this. I think he fucking deserves it. Based. I think he's a piece of shit. Based. I was expecting, oh, it's okay, I'll, I'll take you back. Thank God, Chuckles, you saved that one. Let him burn, I guess. Let him burn. Um, yeah, no, if you, can't, if you can't apologize or take ownership or even, like, even study the situation where you may have fucked up, like, you are a retard and fuck you. Love it. When it rains, you're going to get wet. Thank you, Chuckles. Great calling. Yeah, thank you. Anytime. So, we now move on to our third and final case to consider in today's courtroom. I just need to get rid of that, get rid of this. Uh, we're not doing this one, we are doing, where is it? Third and final case, and we'll bring on our third and final foreman of the jury to consider this verdict. Um, where is this song? Why does it keep... I don't know what's happened. I guess YouTube have, like, removed all of my playlists or whatever, or... Maybe I've been doing them on Spotify and not putting that. That explains a lot to me. But. So this, as we move into our third and final verdict to consider. So in light of everything we've seen tonight, we've kind of seen a common theme run through all of the cases. And in this one, we look at that common theme. This suspect running amok all throughout town. What's he doing? Why is he doing this? Why is he running all over town causing mayhem like Mizzy? What, what's going on? Doxing elderly grandmothers, I guess, and sliding up in Eho's DMs, I guess, and being sent CP, I guess. What is going on, Bri? What is happening, bruh? What are you doing in the dark there, buddy? If you ain't gonna tell us, it might be time to just drag you out into the light. So not, but two, this is actually what inspired today's show trial. The witch trial that has taken place. This is what's truly inspiring. Because I was watching this earlier today and going, what are you doing? Why? Why must we always do this, Brian Dunn? Why must it always be this way, Brian Dunn? Let's all touch grass for a moment, folks. Cowboy hat emoji. Have a good weekend. Now this video truly is exceptional. And it's, the, it's literally the reason why all of tonight has taken place. Because my almonds were so activated, and I was just so like... 
that I felt the only way of really responding was by doing this. So, we're going to bring on our foreman of the jury for this third and final segment. And then at the end, we'll consider the final verdict on whether or not Brian is guilty of all crimes. All charges presented to him. And I'm not going to, you know, pack or stack that jury. I'm going to be as objective as fuck in this one. All right. So, bear with me. I can get rid of all of this now. Where, where, where is it? <laughs> I guess when I ended the chuckles call, I just x the tap. That was how done I was with that one. But she kind of saved it by the end by saying, let him die, let him burn. Uh, no remorse, no half measures. So, one moment. Where are you? Where is, where is this? Uh, here we go. All right. <clears throat> Foreman of the jury, welcome to consider this third and final case. Hello, Godwinson. Hello, we sir. Are, we are here to uh, watch a very interesting video, aren't we? I want to go through this one, like, sort of frame by frame, and we'll consider, perspicacity, what's going on here tonight. Are you with me? Yes. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Um, okay. So, here we go. I'm going to put it on the screen. And for your consideration. All right, there we go. We're live. Hey, everybody. It's King of Bull. Oh, i got to watch this on stream. I might turn him up, actually, gonna as well. Um, I might turn him up. So bear with me. It's the impartial person. That's right. So. I am impartial. I love Brian. If you want that. We all love Brian. <sighs> so I'm going to have to turn this down. One second. Because I use volume boosters on these things now. Because no one can hear the things. But there's a, uh, there's a plug-in that I can use. So bear with me. Uh, I'll turn this on. Right. And share the screen with me so I don't have to watch it. Your screen. Share the screen with you. I don't know how I do that on a mobile phone. Uh, this is my way of sharing the screen with you, person. But let's go. All right. Well, just... <laughs> We're going to talk about the rats. All right. So, right at the beginning, we've got Brian in the cowboy hat, and he's going to touch grass and deliver a sermon on the birds and the bees here. Everybody, it's the King of Pole. Call me Brian. Call him Brian. I'm gonna drop the act today. Act dropped. Um, we're gonna talk about grass. Look at this. Look at all this grass around me. You know. Uh, and so I don't know how to really start this. Great. So yesterday, some of you may know on a stream, there was a. Uh, it was an incident that happened that led to... Uh, just quickly, Percept, just sort of thoughts on what Brian's doing here. Um, I love it. He's got the sun shining down behind him. He's got a cowboy hat on. <laughs> uh, sort of waving his palm through the grass and stuff. We can see that he's really touching grass. It really and is. It's, uh, it's for real, bro. It's for real. And I really do hope it's for real, Brian. I really hope you're touching that grass. All right. Law enforcement stuff. A lot of and people in chat are saying it reminds them of scenes from Brokeback Mountain. Do you, do you agree? <laughs> I don't know about that. All right. And um, for the last week or so, I've been dealing with it constantly at the house. And um, we'll just talk about it for a minute. <laughs> Um, Someone's just said he sets himself on fire at the end of the video. And this is it. This is what the Buddhists would do, wouldn't it? Before they'd set themselves on fire during like, the Vietnam protests. The free Tibet protests, I guess. Is Brian going to free Tibet, per se? Um, <laughs> yeah, I 
could see Brian doing a free Tibet uh, protest where he lights himself on fire. It, it could be a, it could be a, a, a regular occurrence, I suppose. But Brian always survives the flames. That's what makes him different. Yes. You know, he can Indeed. light himself on fire, but he's completely flame retardant. So the flames, they they die out, and Brian is still unscathed underneath the flames. Oh, so. love it. Um, when I do my show, when I'm online, when I'm the king of pole, the exceptional detective, outline man, um, outline you don't man. talk to me and you don't really know me, you just assume I'm some crazy person on the internet. But the, the, reality, the reality is, is, you know, I put on a show. It's a joke you know it's a uh, it's not uh it's not Percep, a... i'm gonna put you on the spot here is brian a crazy man on the internet um hold on i'm catching up remember i'm like uh, a few seconds behind um yes is brian crazy yes is he a malicious person i don't believe so i i've always found brian to be uh the funniest of crazy and uh, we've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed that with Brian's friendship for many years. I so just quickly then, you know Percep, I mean? in all That's the time, in all the time you've known Bry, have you ever known him to sort of? Because this is the real Bry, I guess, is what he's trying to present. You ever known him to like wear a cowboy hat and conduct voice calls, sat in a field of grass? <laughs> But uh, not really, no. I mean, that, not regular. So this but sort of bry behind the laughter is where we're at. Cowboy had it a field. It might have happened a few times. Uh, we've had many call with Bry. Kneeling like a Buddhist monk. <laughs> he looks very peaceful there. He's very peaceful. Very peaceful scene. Real. Like, I'm not running around actually screaming and spouting the things that I'm talking about to people in real life or... Yeah. Now, is he running around and spouting the things he's talking about to people in real life, per se? Because he's denied that charge. Can I plead? Uh, you can plead the no. fifth. You can plead the fifth, per se. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> no. Like, screaming and spouting the things Brian that actually does. I know that, you know, Brian drives around in his car all day with, you know, people on the phone. But he does that on stream too. Uh, it's not real. Like I'm not running around actually screaming and spouting the things that I'm talking about to people in real life or interacting in a certain way. That uh, that um, resonates with that. You know. It sounds to me like he's not even, like, in the field. He's, like, right on the lay-by of this field. Like, there's a, clearly a road right in front of him. <laughs> you think he walked across the street? I think he walked across the street, per se. I think that's yeah, exactly that's what happened. He is walked across the street, yeah. Kind it looks good, though. Look at the little... Is that, like, a soldier's helmet? That I'm not like, entirely what sure what helmet this is. Um, is that a work... It's a work helmet. I mean, when will he learn? I mean, is that his actual work? I don't know. Jesus. Even I don't even that. know how this is happening to me. The swan in the... Like, come on, Brian. A lot of the times I'm out and about working. Like, it's it's perfectly positioned as well, so we can read the... Like, I don't understand why this happens, person. You know, I, I don't get it. Okay. Stuff. Um, yeah, I know. In the in the zone, you know, in the Brian zone, and uh, it seems to be uh, misunderstood by a lot of people. I think a lot of people. Are what he's saying here in this video is that the Brian zone that we all know and love actually isn't the Brian zone. This is in fact the Brian zone, the real Brian zone. Peaceful, yeah. sat sat in the grass, cowboy hat on brandishing your work helmet um, and sort of running your palm through the surrounding scenery. This is... Well, there are two very different... Right? There's King of Paul, right? Yes. He's completely insane and talks about beheading people and doing saw tortures on them and screams at them. I'll and kill you! Bri -Bri. <laughs> yeah, and then there is Bri, Bri who's very chill and calm and uh, kind of normal guy. Yes. And then you have King of Paul who acts completely crazy. 
and does stuff that's completely crazy. And now, is the difference uh, between them schizophrenia or weed? <laughs> uh, the weed definitely helps. I think the weed definitely helps Brian come down to bri bri levels. Um, I don't know what it is. I think part of it is that Brian has been doing this the uh, the showman bit for so long, for so many years, that he almost like gets stuck in it. And then he's got to like pull himself out. Then he's got to go back in. You know what I mean? He always struggles with pulling himself out of being king of pole to Bri Bri. So that would be my most honest answer. All right. Let's persevere. Fine. You guys um, are disconnected uh, from what's really important. And uh, sometimes myself included in the times when I'm making jokes and fucking with people and um, going hard. You know, a lot of the, the internet blood sports stuff and the things you see on the show, I, you know, I intentionally ape up um, to make the show entertaining, to, to make things that you guys want to watch because you seem to like that stuff. And that seems to be the content that you guys are about. And um, I just want to pick up on that. So he talks about how he apes up stuff to make things more entertaining. Do you think he aped up Weezus's DM? the text that he got from Weezus in order to make it more entertaining? That I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, I don't think Brian would make something like that up. Um, in all honesty, I... I Do you do think he'd ape it up for he, content? But uh, I know he does hate those people. So, and I know they hate him. So it's like impossible to really be able to... Can I say with any certainty... Um, I want to believe Brian. Um, I don't think he'd lie about something like that. Uh, there's definitely, uh, an advantage to lying about saying you didn't send it. Um, but is there, a, have I seen any real proof? No. Has so, Brian sent you the crime number? Yes. And is it real? Have you verified it? Uh, I have not verified that. Well, no, I haven't been able to verify anything yet. Uh, okay. I believe that Brian... Yes, I believe that uh, there probably was swatting involved. I believe there was probably a police report involved, yes. And has Brian uh, conveyed unto you what he describes as the image? Because it's he's saying it's not the tranny porn. No, I've not seen, I've not seen the image. But, but he's described... He described that it was not the tranny porn, it was a different image. A different image altogether. Okay, brilliant. Yes. Uh, I think... I think we need to have, uh, you know, a touch grass moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was showmanship, wasn't it? Uh, you know, uh, I okay, think... I think we need to have, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. a touch grass moment. Brian is a, a consummate. It's not real. I will always give him that. Okay. Um, and what I mean by that is, is that the arguments that are happening with a lot of the people on the show are real for them. And the conversations they're having are wrong. Um, they're not good people. I think you guys are aware of that. That's why you watch it. It's a spectacle because of the things that come out of these people's mouths, what they say and what they do. Um, we're talking about people that only want to argue about the most horrific things imaginable, you know, uh, child, children, and, uh, and what they want to do with them, what is being happening with them. And it's thrown around so much um, that, damn, it's a beautiful day now. <laughs> <laughs> Such Jesus. a nice day. <laughs> what this is like, it's like we're all in a circle with Bry, isn't it? And we're yeah. all holding hands yes, and we're all, you know, going to do a bit of like yoga or something. Before we go off and slaughter the May Queen. It's very, very sort of new age pagan, this, this version of Brian. Yeah, I, I agree with the message that we should all stop, that everybody should stop doxing and swatting and trying to kill each other. I yes, this, I, this, is a, this is a great message to be carried, isn't it? This is how it should all, this is how it should all be. Um, yeah. Now, do you agree with the messenger? <laughs> I think Brian can... Is Brian an appropriate vessel to tell people how to live their lives? Um, I think that... <laughs> in a way, yes. In a way, no. Uh, Brian certainly has a storied history online in which he's 
gotten into uh, blood feuds that have lasted years that involve boxing and swatting, and he certainly has uh, experience, uh, vast experience with what he's talking about. And on the other hand, I think Brian needs to disengage with a lot of stuff, and I think that would be just good for him. But this is him disengaging here, isn't it? In the grass field. Uh, is, yeah. Look at the heads well, on I these think things. That's look at idea. the heads on these uh, things. It's just nice. It's but nice. It's thrown around so much that... Uh, <laughs> I think it's a good idea to that it has, that it's out of control. And a lot of the people in these circles, these discords, these Kiwi farms, these forums, these um, places, these these things that are, these are happening at are uh, propagating most of the stuff that's happening. Um, and it's not okay, right? It's not okay. Um, so... With that being said, uh, I'm going to take a small break uh, from streaming for a little bit. Um, I'm going to come back. So is Brian taking a small break from streaming a bit? Is that confirmed? Uh, only Brian knows that for sure. But Now, he posted this like two, three hours ago, so. Yeah, I think it would be good for Brian. Oh. Um, with that being said, um, I can't confirm or deny, really. I mean, only Brian. Uh, I'm going to take a small break. But I imagine he will. Uh, streaming for a little bit. To take a little um, bit I'm going to come break. back. We're going to cover the alien Especially stuff. We're going to kind of punch out. If you will. We're going to get out of this stuff like expert intensity. So he's talking here about how he's going to come back from his break and punch up at the aliens. Do you hear that? Yes, he's going to punch up an alien. Uh, I'm going to take... That's a great idea. I think that's more... Uh... Now, now, Percip, can we just take a moment to sort of... So is it okay, as part of Brian's healing, to encourage him to believe in aliens and literally punch <laughs> the sky and wage war on the sky? Which is, which is the lesser evil? Engaging in the sector shit or waging war on extraterrestrials? Well, uh... <laughs> what do you mean? I think he should wage war on extraterrestrials. You think he should punch I up? Think... Yes, I do. I really do. Uh, you know, we're big Star Trek fans, Adam. I, I love the whole idea. Brian's coming so for the Romulans? Brian in space, yes. <laughs> Brian in space! It's the new season, folks! Brian in space. I can't wait. I think that'll be amazing. Brian in space? Yeah. Brian going up as a diplomat to talk to the aliens. That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see. They're doxing my moon! Take a small break. <laughs> now let me tell you about Game Gate. Why does this keep happening to me? Uh, I'm streaming for a little bit. I could see Brian. Um, I'm going to come back. Yeah, We're going to cover. The alien stuff. We're gonna kind of punch up, if you will. We're gonna get get out of this stuff like that. Um, Brian, it's a space. lot of this stuff kind of sucks. You know, it's not fun. It's really negative, and uh, it's a lot of fun to talk about because it's so crazy that uh, you can't help but talk about it, right? But um, it's just not okay. I think I think a lot of people need to figure out. You know, go outside. Go outside. Every time he waves his arms air, through the grass, it's amazing. Uh, figure out what what's going on in their lives that's uh, that's making him go out of their way to commit criminal acts to to possibly harm children to, children to fuck with stream what was that person i said he's a consummate showman even the angle everything is is great it really is picturesque there's in a way that is um, i really believe brian is like you know just like, uh, it really projects innocence. I want to believe you're Yes, innocent. I was sent. I was sent stuff. You want to believe Brian's innocent, Percy? Yeah. Well, this is a this is <laughs> this is the symbol of purity right here. This is this is pure, honest Mother Earth, Brian. Last night on air. Yes, I was swatted yesterday and the day before, and the day before that. Um, yes, there's an open investigation. I can't talk. I'm not going to talk about it um, for obvious reasons. I'll let the police do their job. Um, you know, is it my fault? Is it their fault? Is it anybody's fault? I think everybody's at fault. You know, I think uh, entertaining these things. Um, 
<laughs> now, I don't know why he did that. But now we've, we're suddenly on like another level where he's getting... Do you see the leg switch and how he positions the helmet? Yes. Well, he said it's everyone's fault. So that's... Okay. And that's, it, that's him acknowledging it's his fault as well, isn't it? And that's why he's getting real and yes. getting on his knee here. That is an acknowledgement. It's an acknowledgement of his own sins. Entertaining these things. Um, entertaining these, these, these things for too long and... Uh, not realizing myself that uh, these people are really like this. They are crazy. They are sick in the head. They are disturbed and, people. So is he describing uh, himself as well? These people are probably criminals. If not already proven to be criminals. You know, it is my fault. It's uh, my fault, he says. And uh, in some sense, and it's not good for content. So with that being said... Uh, we'll be back in a couple weeks. I love how he skirts over. It's my fault in some sense. Doesn't elaborate. <laughs> and in uh, some sense, and it's not good for content. So with that being said, uh, we'll be back in a couple weeks. We're going to talk about some other stuff. Uh, we're going to finish the Gamergate thing in a couple weeks. Gamergate is finished, isn't it? Gamergate finished in 2014. Will it ever be over? Will it ever be over? It'll never be over. Everything always leads back to Gamergate. Is Gamergate coming to a star near you, person? Yes, I think so. I think Gamergate is the uh, the lifeblood of the sector. <laughs> it's all like it's, like it's like the core. We can never quite get rid of it. It kind of holds everything together. Uh, and hopefully more alien stuff. The alien stuff that's come out is kind of wild. Given that, we're going to have some fun. Um, the Kino Casino is supposed to be back tonight. I was asked by Zanny Berries and many other people in DMs if I'm going to stream tonight that. Uh, maybe. I thought he was taking a break, Persip. How? Within seconds, he's gone from I'm taking two weeks to I'm stream sniping the Kino Casino tonight. <laughs> did he really just say that? Well, he did, yes. Did I miss that? Like, what is going on, Persip? What is happening, bruh? Um, well, I guess that's a separate sector. Uh, either that was the fastest two weeks ever, or Brian experiences time differently, which I can kind of believe. Well, yes, I, I believe that too. But um, Brian was 40 days and 40 know. nights in this field of grass. It's like a different dimension when you step into like the antique you know, casino. It's like a different dimension. Um, I guess play game and stuff. It's all we got like little pocket dimensions going on here. So maybe that's how it works. I just don't <laughs> until this uh, this weird stuff. Oh, he's wheeling out for me. I'll, I'll see if I can recover it. We only have like twenty seconds left of Brian's sermon. Don't actually know what's going on here. Brian's just like now bigger than he's ever been. I hope I hope he's not like. Okay, what's going on? I don't know. What's it's wheeling. Uh, maybe he's deleted the tweet. Yeah, I think he's deleted the tweet. Look, has he deleted? That's the tweet? tough. Why would he delete the tweet? Well, I can retry. Yeah, I think I think it got too real. Right. Why would you delete the tweet? All right. Uh, thoughts per set. I hope that Brian is serious. I hope that, you know, um, he focuses on his life. And, you know, I do love the guy. We've known, I've known Adam for many, uh, Adam, I've known Brian for many years. And uh, I do love the guy. Uh, I just, you know, I think it would be good to take a step back. It's not, it's not good for anybody to keep continuing with all these crazy views. That's all I'm saying. Okay. okay. I think it's time to take a step back. Talking of crazy feuds. Yes. Kino Casino returns tonight. And your arch nemesis PPP will return. Um, talk us through the craziness of that feud and how it is right now, Persip. So I hear he doxed you or threatened to dox you and your family. Uh, so, uh, 
as everybody knows in the chat, everybody's been going crazy. You know, I'm Ralph's co-host now. Um, apparently, Ashton did not take that well when I got the co-host position um, and thinks that I am, uh, you know, he sees me, I guess, now the same way that we see him as like putting on a Darth Vader mask and like embracing the dark side of evil, uh, despite not really doing anything to him besides help Ralph do the show. So uh, he's declared war on me. So is this uh, you doing your best, Brian, in the field of grass and saying you didn't do nothing wrong? We should come together and I sing Come By Up. Wrong. I didn't do nothing wrong. Uh, we were snaked by Ashton multiple times. I was snaked by Ashton more times than everybody else because I gave him like how many chances. Uh, and he seems to be really upset that. I don't know. I didn't give him any chances. So. Will you be uh, watching tonight? Their I return? will be watching tonight. I think I might even... Who knows? We'll see how it goes. I think I might even provide some commentary tonight. Amazing. Okay. All right. So that's the next show. Brian's in space and Persip stream snipe in the casino. <laughs> So just quickly then, I just want your take on the verdict and then we'll cast it out to the jury. Is Brian guilty of all charges? One, guilty. Two, not guilty. Person, you weigh in. Uh, I say that Brian is not guilty on terms that you can't prove that he's guilty. But... Um, I do think it would be wise for Brian to, to stop. So even though we've had a unanimous verdict of ones in the chat, <laughs> we can't fully say that there wasn't... I mean, it's it's a majority verdict, I guess we'd have to go with. Yes. All right, Juice! The Sector Courtroom. All cases considered. Juice. 